There was some tough competition as teams from all over India had participated. We saw some pretty neat innovations in the form of the advanced Bethelizer helmet which works on Bluetooth encryption technology and was designed keeping in mind increased incidence of drunk driving and bike theft. And the smartphone here presented by IIT Roorkee that aims at offering filtered sounds of listeners choice in premium clarity. Now I know I'm not supposed to choose favorites but I can't help it. As luck would have it, my favorite won. A safety device for women, Guardian was the winning project by IIT. Well, the IITians are known to breathe, sleep, eat innovation and to test this theory out. I'm here at IIT Delhi where the Ericsson Innovation Awards are taking place and I have with me someone very interesting. His name is Paris Batra and he's come up with something very cool. So tell me, what is your product all about? So yeah, our company is Leaf Innovation Private Limited and this is our product which we call Safer. Safer because we believe everyone in this world deserves to be safer. So what this does is, it's a wearable safety jewelry, it's in form of a pendant right now, as you can see. So what it does is, if you are in a dangerous situation and you are wearing it, all you need to do is double click on Safer and it's paired with a mobile application. So it sends an alert with the location to our control room, from where we broadcast it to your friends family, nearest PCR van and all the community members nearby so all of them can come and live track you via the mobile application. Now the most impeccable part about this is that it works on a three layer redundancy model. It initially works on internet, that being the fastest, but if there is no internet, it shifts down to SMS mode and even if there is no cellular network, it still works on the SOS mode. The device addresses the problem that came along with almost every woman's safety application following the infamous December 16 gang rape incident. All of them were dependent on the availability of internet connection. And we've seen like apps of this kind come in, like we've seen security apps, we've seen like a lot of things especially after the internet happened in Delhi. Why did you choose to go with a wearable as opposed to just sticking to the app platform? See, it's, it's never about a wearable, but it's always just about a solution. And we, didn't, we believe that the apps are not good enough to provide the value prop proposition which this problem demands. And we believe this wearable can because it reduces the response time drastically. So if you are in a distressed situation, it's not possible for you to actually take out the smartphone from your handbag, fiddle through the app, press the alert button. That's not possible. You need something which is instant on your body which you can just tap twice and everything happens automatically. So that's what this does. Based on a three-layer redundancy mode, innovators say that the wearable security device can be fashioned in the form of jewellery like pendants and rings, which conveniently remove the trouble of obvious fidgeting with the phone in a panic situation. We need to take this, this to the grassroots, to the rural areas. We do need government support because the kind of reach they possess, no one can. So right now, but we have to prove a lot to them that, that this is the thing. To go, to, to go down to the rural areas and right now we are proving it. The awards were aimed to recognize and foster the spirit of innovation among students. And the students from IIT didn't disappoint. If India's future is as bright as these students, there's nothing stopping us.